2018, the year that digital is expected to overtake TV in advertising revenues. The rise of digital streaming sites like Hulu, Amazon and Netflix mean that good old broadcast telly is feeling the pinch, but Linear TV still has a few USPs. The good part about television from an advertiser's perspective is the engagement at scale that it has with all types of audiences across the spectrum they may wish to reach. Uh, even in the digital world, the evolutions we've seen over time, it's still very, very hard to rival TV as a medium to build your brand. TV is obviously still of paramount importance to advertisers. I think TV is a, a, a unique medium uh, that's able to deliver mass marketing messages, but there are advances in the space that are presenting new opportunities for, for advertisers, um, which you know, can't, can't be ignored, but certainly TV remains strong. Brands love TV because they know it works, and they've become accustomed to the cost that they've paid for that. That's really what's made TV a very, very attractive medium for brands. What we would say is actually with the TV, uh, with that basis, that heritage, but with data overlaid over the top, it's a massive opportunity for those broadcasters to go to the next step with advertisers, be able to deliver all of that in spades, but also be able to bring on this targeting that they've never been able to before because of the dearth of data. Developments include programmatic, more widely used elsewhere in media, but could have a big role to play in linear TV. Programmatic is you know, the automation of the buying process. With the advancements in um, TV consumption via connected devices, um, programmatic uh, access is, let's say, more, more available to directly transact and serve ads via programmatic platforms. I think one of the things that broadcasts are really missing out on is around the data that underpins the advertising industry these days. The new entrants to this market know far, far more about the audiences that are consuming content, and that brings a huge amount of power in terms of being able to target advertising. That's something broadcasters need to work on. The opportunity um, that's presented by, let's call it the digitization of, of TV, is the ability to, for marketers to apply uh, data segments uh, to better target audiences, but combine that with the big screen, high impact format that TV has always offered. That's the key benefit for, for marketers. Traditional broadcasters have plenty to learn from programmatic, a tool originally created for media buyers. If linear broadcasters can utilise data more effectively, they can continue to compete against the global streaming giants. The opportunity for having a more programmatic approach is really this idea of, of being able to overlay data uh, and data around audiences to make them more valuable to specific types of advertiser. Some advertisers will always want the big mass reach brand fame uh, ad slots and, and delivered that way, uh, but some advertisers are very, very interested in targeting uh, more niche audiences on a medium that they understand very well from decades of experience, but that they can now eliminate what may be called in their term waste. So when we're talking about these new entrants in the market, which are digital first businesses like a Netflix or, or an Amazon, these are, these are global businesses um, that perhaps um, today aren't sitting on the wealth of insight that a national broadcaster might have about what content resonates best with their audiences. Um, I think that's going to be a factor that will play into the hands of broadcasters as they look to be competitive uh, with some of the new entrants in the marketplace. I think we're going to see broadcasters become far more data-centric in their approaches moving forward. We've already seen it with a number of broadcasters like Channel 4 in the UK really starting to understand their registered user base and target advertising based on way more than the traditional demographics that they would have used beforehand. That's going to have to be repeated at scale uh, internationally if broadcasters are going to compete with these new entrants. Even with the switch to digital, there's still plenty of life in traditional linear TV and programmatic will play a role, but quality content is key. I think that uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, there are clear benefits to the advertiser and programmatic was a buy-side led trend um, in my view. I think that the, the, the future of programmatic is, is bright, um, but there will be you know, different sides of the, of the ecosystem adopting tools as well, not just the buyers.
There's still a lean back experience to TV. We talk about this idea that everybody chooses what they want to watch all the time actively. If you look at the Barb data, a lot of people will just switch on the TV, turn to their favorite channel and zone out for hours. And the point there is there is a, still a role for content curation through channels uh, that won't be going away anytime soon. Broadcasters are approaching this from a broadcast background and they're approaching the programmatic digital sphere as their users and viewers start to consume content on connected devices from that mentality. So I think actually it's going to be an area for broadcasters to, to win um, against the broader digital um, ecosystem which you know, admittedly has um, you know, been fraught with, with challenges around the brand safety point. TV is going to become digital irrespective of who it comes from. They're already uh, changing the way that programming is delivered to consumers based on the way that consumers uh, are now taking content in on different devices over IP rather than traditional TV delivery mechanisms. And actually it's going to be about the strength or, and quality of the programming that's going to get people uh, watching uh, the ads, giving you the opportunity to deliver those ads. That's where broadcasters have got a big head start on the new entrants, but the new entrants' budgets for programming is astronomical. It generally will dwarf traditional broadcasters and that's something they've got to watch out for. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.